Welcome to the AM Prime Suite self-service portal basic introduction video. In this video, I'm going to show the basic user experience of the self-service portal component of the AM Prime Suite. I'm going to go through the workflow of a user requesting their first token and then show how the user can come and request a replacement for that token as in the case of a device swap. Say I get an iPhone and I switch to an Android and then I'll do a quick wrap up about what I showed of what I showed and what's to be shown in the next coming videos in this series. So this is the user experience when a user comes to the self-service portal. The self-service portal is configurable for authentication types. In this case, I have a number of them. I'm going to use simple AD authentication. One of the benefits of the AM Prime self-service portal is the ability to configure multiple different authentication types and to have multiple instances. So many of our customers come in and they actually have multiple instances, one, say, external and internal facing portals. They may have multiple different portal instances that are in different languages. The users now come in. I'm going to, as a first user, I'm going to come in and request a token. And I can come in and based on the configuration, once again, um, I can see which tokens are available, token types are available, including hardware. In this case, I have a multitude of them enabled. I come in, select the token type of my choosing, and I'm always requested to set the pin. An important um, element integrated into this workflow is always have the users come in, set their pin, so that when they go to use the token, they're ready to use it, and the pin isn't something they don't know yet or have to set during the context of authentication. One thing to highlight about the uh, AM Prime self-service portal is that not only is it brandable, but every text element displayed, whether it be buttons, whether it be messaging to the end user, um, is customizable by the, by the customer. So now I see I have a token that's been assigned to me. It's actually sent me an email, which I'll show in a second. And there's various functions that are enabled for this token that I can, based on the configuration, exercise. And then I actually also see as an end user um, a set of messages. So switching to the email client, we'll actually see a number of emails. The most critical one being the email with the CTKIP activation URL in it. All the end user has to do is pull this up on their phone, on their iPhone, and tap this link and it imports the token. The portal also has a number of levels of notification that can go to end users when there are changes to an existing token or their account. Assuming the users imported this token, they can then come in later. And if I had, let's say I'm switching from an iPhone to an Android, I could come in, select to replace the token, pick one of the other token types. The pin is actually retained so that the end user's pin is the same and submit that. And that will generate, assign a new token to the user as a replacement for the existing one and send the activation URL to that person. The user interface demonstrates this and the messages show the history. And then I'll actually see that there's an email with the activation. So here's the CTKIP information for an Android. These emails, as you can see, are support HTML um, experience and they're brandable and completely configurable um, by the customer. So to wrap things up, what I've demonstrated is how an end user can use the self-service portal, in this case with AD credentials to come in. It could have been an integrated Windows authentication, RBA, or even on demand if that was available for the end user. Um, to come in, manage their token, in this case select a token, send it to their device and issue it, and then come in and do replacements. Um, the web interface is brandable and configure, completely configurable, and the um, email templates are completely customizable by customers, both for the content as well as the images. And all the features are basically controlled through configuration uh, settings in the portal itself. So this concludes the demo for now. Coming up will be demos on more advanced features, um, troubleshooting um, steps and troubleshooting examples, uh, hardware token activation portals, uh, multilingual and other advanced topics, and we'll also also do demos about um, other components of the AM Prime Suite, including the, the help desk admin portal and the AMS core engine underneath it. So thank you for attending, and I hope this has been helpful.